Hey, hey, what's happening, people? Today's video is gonna be a quick, um, I don't know, overview of a skid plate that uh, a customer of mine has asked to make for his uh, 2020, I think it's 23 or 22, but I think they're same. So anyways, for Ford Transit van, there's a very common issue of having um, the intercooler area very uh, exposed, I'll put it this way. Um, so we needed to make a skid plate. So many of you who follow the channel know that um, I build things and this is something that a customer had brought in after he had work done at another shop locally. Uh, so they put the bumper on, but one thing came out of this was the very exposed intercooler. And I think that's a very common one on uh, many of the four transits so there's a whole thing going on this is going to be a build out with the cabinetry and other accessories and such uh, but this video specifically is about a skid plate so this thing is going on the front and covers up that area there um, so one thing that reason number one reason why build and not buy you might ask because there are other brands that make these so number one is i like building things so i guess that's number one reason number two reason is um everybody right now has got a very usually a large back order line so if you were to order one it, it will take a while um number three is it's not very really built with a thought through in my opinion at least um, because what's happening so let's let's go into the reasoning why build your own right so it's intercooler intercoolers are meant to cool things right so you got to have that airflow now the bumper obviously covers up a lot of that now that is a customer's choice but we have to work with what we have so to in order to keep more airflow in we have this you know this area opened up we protect it with a little bit of screen mesh here So that will take care of all the bugs, all the grime and slime and anything that's going to be flying that way, right? Number two, uh, being that this thing will be getting serviced at a local Ford dealer, obviously you don't want to have to deal with the service guys, you know, removing the skid plate on and off all the time. So we make them a what? Exactly, an access hatch or opening or whatever you want to call it. So that's welded in there and it is uh, reinforced. This is all quarter inch aluminum. It goes right into the bumper frame pieces that are right here. In my case, I used rev nuts, as you see, to make the installation very simple. Um, for somebody who would want one like this, you can just drill through um, and just attach a longer grade eight bolts that will hold it together. Um, this thing is just over 25 pounds, so it's not very heavy. Um, it is pretty darn heavy duty, though, being a quarter inch aluminum. So for anybody who's got a Ford van, uh, feel free to contact me if you want one. Uh, I think I could make that happen. I'm still thinking on the number, but uh, I think it can be very uh, market competitive. And I could have it done basically within a week's time for you if you would want one. So let's get this thing installed and see how that goes so installation is very straightforward and now you're looking a pretty well protected intercooler. Again, this area doesn't get as much um, probably you know debris flying through it. I'm gonna call it that way. But this area gets fairly well covered up. And again, airflow is now blocked. I don't believe you will have anything to worry about here. And then obviously you have the little hatch here to access your oil filter. Let's get that opened up. 
All right, so as I'm pulling the rust bolt off, boom, we have access to the oil filter area. All right, so if you have any questions or would you like to order one, like I said, feel free to uh, DM me here on, on YouTube or you can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, look up uh, Adventure Ready or Go Adventure Ready uh, on Instagram or also Bud Nixon on uh, Instagram just like it is on YouTube and we'll get you one. Thanks for watching. Take care.